Hello everyone, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to manually update the software of your Samsung QLED TV to the latest version using a USB drive. Alright guys, to update the firmware of your TV manually using a USB, you will need access to three things. A computer, internet access, and obviously a USB drive. It doesn't have to be a big USB drive, 8GB should be more than enough. And once you have all three ready, well then let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you will need to do is find out which model Samsung TV you've got. And by the way guys, the time code is in the video description, so if you already know which model TV you've got, you can skip to the next part. But if you don't know which model Samsung TV you've got, do this. Open up the menu by pressing the home button on the remote and then go to settings. Open up support and then go to about this TV and open this up. And you can see the model number right over there. This is QA55Q80T. So the model code is the TV's model number and we will have to type this in the Samsung's website in the next step. You should also note down the software version. The TV is running 1462.1 and we will compare this number with the one that is available on the website and see if an update is available or not. Now if your TV doesn't show the software version under about this TV, then just go to software update and it should automatically show which version of software it is running. As you can see, it is running 1462. Okay, so now we will move on to the computer and start downloading the firmware files. And before we do, I'm gonna plug the USB in into the computer. All right guys, on your computer, open up the web browser and go to samsung.com. Then hover your mouse over support and then click on TV. In the search bar, type in your TV's model code. So our TV's model code is QA55Q80T. So this is the TV that I've got, 55 inch Q80T 4K Smart QLED TV, and I'll click on this. Now over here, scroll down and check on firmware slash software. Then scroll down and you will see the firmware update file available over here. Now the version available on Samsung's website is 2014.1 and our TV is running 1462.1. So the firmware on the TV is pretty outdated. This is the latest version that is available. So we will go ahead and download this. So while the firmware is downloading, let's go ahead and check our USB. So this is our USB drive. Now you can see it does contain some file, but that should not mess up with the update process because these files will be ignored by the TV. And this is a 64 gig drive and its file system is FAT32, but I think NTFS also works on the TV just fine. Once the download finishes, open this file up and extract the files onto your desktop. You can also directly extract it into the USB drive, but I prefer extracting on the desktop than copying it over. So click on extract to desktop and let the program do its thing. So this is the folder that we have extracted. We will just now drag and drop this into the USB drive and we will wait for it to copy. Once the folder has been copied over, just close this and safely eject the USB drive. Make sure that you always properly eject the USB drive. Don't just yank it out of your PC. And now we have to plug this thing in into the TV's USB port. Now the thing is, because the USB port is at the back, I do have a USB extension cable coming out of the TV. Usually I don't recommend that you plug these in into the extension cable, but it's really impossible for me to put my hand back there and plug the USB in. So we're gonna plug the USB in into the extension cable, which is connected to the TV's USB port. So after plugging in the USB drive, you will get this sort of a prompt on your TV. We will now cancel this. Okay, so on your Samsung TV, press the home button and then go to settings. Inside settings, head on into support, then tap on software update and then select update now. It's gonna quickly check the updates over the internet, but then you will get this prompt, browse files on USB flash drive, and then just select yes. Then you will get this prompt, a new software version is available and we are gonna select yes, and the update process will start right away. And please, please, please never ever turn your TV off while it is updating the software, otherwise you will end up with a dead TV. So you don't want that. Never ever unplug the TV when the software update is going on. 
and the TV should automatically restart after this. I think that's it. The TV is now running the latest version of the firmware. We will go into settings and verify. So settings, it's a bit sluggish, should become normal in a few minutes. So support software update. So yes, check this out. Our software update was successful. Now the TV is running 2014 firmware version. So yeah, guys, that's how you update the firmware on a Samsung TV. Also, I have noticed this has fixed my 120Hz problem. So after installing the latest NVIDIA drivers, I was not able to get the 120Hz output. So now it's finally working fine. It's working 4K 120Hz. So yes, usually firmware updates will fix issues like this. So always make sure that your TV software is up to date. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. And do subscribe to the channel for more content. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys next time.